do you think this is sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy when all the Christians in a place all of a sudden get really hopeless about the world? Yeah, and the I think the reality is, is and people don't see it, is that it, it, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, but it's, it's also too like, you know, wisdom is known by her fruits. Wisdom is known by her children. And so if you're, if you are in this mentality, then you just need to look at the fruit of their work. Like, is it good? Is it excellent? Is it something praiseworthy? Is it something salty? Are you being salty? Are you even, do you, have you lost the salt? You know, are you just crossing your fingers at that person when you talk to them about Jesus, they're going to come to the Lord? Are you like, you know what, man, almighty, I'm going to go talk with the guy about Jesus. And he's either going to fully hate me and punch me in the face, or he's going to come to know no living, the living savior. And I'm going to have those two extreme viewpoints because that's what the Bible allows me. And I'm not going to really hope for anything in between, you know? And if, and if, and if the other one, if it is like something in between, then okay, that that's, I mean, I imagine the majority of them are in between, but your hope should be I'm walking with God through life. And if he is for me, who can be against me? And if he is for his, his church, who can be against her? And that's when he's like the, the gates of Hades will not prevail against his bride. They will not prevail against against the church. 